when freedom is nothing but a dream. It's time to make a stand. To lead a rebellion. To be a hero. Welcome to the city of the downtrodden. Where those who dare to speak out are punished. And those who dare to hope find nothing to hope for. No finer goods in all of Brightwall. Shopkeeper. Have you got any of that? Oh, hello. Mmm, lovely, aren't they? I've collected gnomes since I was a lad. My family said it was unhealthy. It made me take stock of my life, and I realised I had to make a change. So, I cut off all contact with them. <laughs> now it's just me and the gnomes. They're my best friends, especially Jonathan. He's like a brother. I, I would actually die for him. It's his birthday today, you know. I ordered a special present for him and everything, but it, it, it never got here, unfortunately. Wait, you, you couldn't find out what happened to it for me, could you? Great! Great! Now, this package, like I said, it's very special. I ordered it from a catalogue. It was very expensive, but then this is Jonathan we're talking about. He deserves only the best. Now, according to the catalogue, the delivery coach travels through Misspeak Valley. Maybe they lost a wheel there or something. It, it's a good place to start looking around, anyway. Nothing but that worthless hunk of stone. Lovely guys, we get nothing for this job except our. They say you spend most of your time wandering around opening chests and stuff. Smack her head until her skull explodes. Don't stand for it. Give as good as you get me. We're untouchable. Oh, watch out! She's a good shot with a gun! Ah! 
seems wealthy enough. Quit killing and robbing anyway. Dodge, mate! Don't just stand there and take it! Get off your ass! Wait, I don't want to die! Hello. I'll buy anything. Well, almost anything. No love potions, I'm afraid. I've got the best stuff They've you ever seen. At the best prices, too. Get drunk as a skunk with my merry line of wines. Uh, Jonathan's been a bit depressed lately, but he'll cheer up when he, he sees what I've got for him. You got it! Oh, this is brilliant! Brilliant! You see, Jonathan? I told you, didn't I? Oh, this is going to be amazing. Th this is going to be so mind-bogglingly amazing. People are going to say, right, this, this is mind-bogglingly amazing! Put it in the place of honour, would you? Right, let me see. Now then, here are the instructions. Prepare your display area in pride of place. Mm -hmm. Done that. Ensure that your garden ornaments are facing your gargoyle with unbroken line of sight. Mm -hmm. Check. Face your gargoyle, stand confident, take a deep breath, and say in an authoritative voice... Oh. <clears throat> Gargolus Multipulus Us. Never leave home without a hat. Don't eat wild mushrooms, they could be toadstools. Always look both ways before crossing a road. Don't play with matches. Oh, this is the greatest day of my life! Wait until I tell my family. Oh, I forgot I've stopped talking to them. Oh, who cares about them? This is mind-bogglingly amazing! In the morning when I wake up and I stumble out of bed I put my pointy hat on my little pointy head And it doesn't much matter if the sky is rain or shine Because I know my little hat is almost all the time Gorgeous! They said the gnome <laughs> is a happy fellow almost all the time We <laughs> said the gnome is a happy fellow almost all the time <laughs> oh, I travel round the land and wherever I roam. <laughs> From the mountains <laughs> in the distance <laughs> to the middle <laughs> I raise my head and say in a loud <laughs> resounding voice. <laughs> Being a gnome, <laughs> <of this> <laughs> <laughs> All the gnomes on the right.
I'd say, <laughs> pointy little hat. Pointy oh, little hat, pointy little hat. Little hat. Oh. And all the gnomes on the left say, two foot tall. Two, two foot tall, tall. Two, two foot tall. tall. And again, lads. In the morning when I wake up and I stumble out of bed. I put my pointy hat on my little pointy head. All right, thank you. Hope you enjoy it. Please, you've got to help me. I'm so worried. It's my daughter, you see. I can't find her. That little scamp is always going off on her own, having adventures and whatnot. Always comes back after a while, though, but this time she's been missing for hours and hours. I'm frantic with worry. It's all her father's fault. He never stops talking about how there's gold to be found in the caves in Mist Peak Valley. I bet that's where she's gone. Please find her and bring her home, I beg you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please bring her back safe and sound as soon as you can. If you're not too busy... Let's see your skills then. Oh, she shot you good, mate. Kill her, kill her now. You should be ashamed of yourself. Get back up. We're under fire! Keep your heads down, boys! Watch out for the damn dog, it's a... Looks like she might have something good on her. This better be worth it. Hey! You're not supposed to shoot back! Stop it! Hey! You're making us look bad! Cut that out!
I shouldn't talk to strangers. Oh, I just did.
goodbye with my little eye. Something beginning with... S. My darling, my little darling, what a relief! I was beside myself. I can't thank you enough. I'm forever in your debt. Hello. You're really quite pretty. Finest products in Brightwall available here. Oh, it's you! Thank goodness! Y you've got to help me! My gnomes! My beautiful gnomes! With their little hats! I have to get them back! I just have to, you understand? I, I have to! Oh, thank you. I knew I could count on you. All my darling gnomes have deserted me. Well, all but one, and he's right in the house. His name's Lionel. He always had a chip on his shoulder, that one. I tried patching it, but it didn't do any good. Please, try and talk some sense into him. And don't worry, you won't have any trouble finding him. You, you just need to follow his... <laughs> his voice. See, Brian's got himself a girlfriend. Set his sights awfully low. What you got? What happened? I heard your gun, and Lionel suddenly appeared out here. But did, did you shoot him? Huh. However you did it, you, you have to find the others. Hunt them down, wherever they are. See, if I can get them all back, I can work out a way to fix this. Ya mother! You shut it! I told you never to mention her! <laughs> Perhaps the company can help. Well, I am going to write a letter to their customer relations department. A strongly worded letter. Welcome to the...
I can never get over this place. Twenty years ago, it was just a damp, murky void in the middle of nowhere. Now people queue up to get dangled across it in a steel box. And here it comes. Most of the people here will be heading straight to Bowerstone. But we're going to take a little detour first. I just hope something wrong. It's about to fall! We have to get down there. How could Those this have poor happened? People. Those poor, poor people. Somebody this must be the way help. down. We have to find those people. See if there's any survivors. Let's go! Looks like the only way. All right. I can do this. Let's get down. I don't want to spend any more time in this box than I have to. It fell somewhere up ahead. Come on! I'd know those sounds anywhere. Maybe the monorail falling wasn't an accident after all. for an old man, huh? People, you know. No matter how much you hit them, they never seem to get any prettier. That's it. But there'll be more. That's something you can count on with, Hobbs. There's always more. Those poor sods. They never stood a chance. I'm not getting into a monorail car for as long as I live, I can tell you that. Let's keep going. There must be a way out through these tunnels. So where are we going? Find some old friends. Let's just say, I wouldn't want to go into any battle without them on my side. That was a shot and a half. Thank you for making such a lovely target. Bla 
bloody brilliant. It's a goner. That was a big mistake. That's a dead hob, all right. Shot it right in its ugly mug. They don't like getting shot at, do they? You show them! Bloody hell! Almost gave me a heart attack. Whoa, you'll pay for that, you spots! Blow the ugly buggers away! Ooh, it's gone to hop heaven. Try to bring them all down. Ah, they're almost too easy to hit. That's it, don't show the buggers mercy. I wonder why none of the buggers have charged at us for a while. They've been waiting to pick us off from a distance. Surprisingly clever. Well, we can have a shootout here, or give them a taste of their own smart medicine, and flank them. It's up to you. That's the last of them! Well, look at that! They built themselves a little castle. Isn't that adorable? Keep up that shooting and we'll be rid of them in no time. Impressed yet? Mm -hmm. Of course you are. Now, tougher than they look. Marvelous shooting. There's hot stakes everywhere. Give up yet? Excellent hit. No getting up from that. Look at that little critter fly. More where that came from. Well, look at that. They built themselves a little castle. Isn't that a door? Who else wants a bullet in the head?
could shoot them all day. Maybe the rest of them will think twice about attacking us now. Sod's blocking our way. You'll have to get behind it somehow. A cave like this, there has to be some other way of getting there. Think you're so smart. Standing behind your fancy magic, don't you? Yes, that's right, I'm talking to you. Disturbing your concentration. There's nothing more satisfying to hit than a hot. Smart enough to use magic. Not smart enough to wear their pants the right way round. Try explaining that. Now this, this I wasn't expecting. There must have been a whole city down here once. You don't think the hops built it, do you? <laughs> Not with those stubby fingers. Have you noticed how quiet it all is here? Almost like... Yep. Almost like that was going to happen. If I had a friend like you, I could tell them secrets. Like that I'm gonna set you on fire. Oh, look. We've even got an audience. Well, nobody trapped me in that bloody cave. A hit! A palpable hit! Good! Keep hacking away at them or we can get out of here. Take that, you dumb beast! I think 
think your weapon might be bent? Oh no, wait! That's you! Buggers! Don't worry, you get the next hit. You have overcome an important test. A good leader must always be ready to face the unknown, and to seek new paths. Your defeat of the creatures in this cave will be told throughout the land.
Hmm. I don't think you're going to find a way round this time. But I've got some magic of my own. Watch and learn. Let's get out of here, shall we? Ah, you can almost smell the sunlight. Isn't it wonderful? The damp, muggy, soggy sunlight. This is Morningwood, all right. I hope the people we're looking for are still alive. Why wouldn't they be? Because, come nightfall, it's one of the most dangerous places in Albion. Well, I don't know about dangerous, but I'm starting to get a rash, bloody swamp. We made a good team back in that cave, didn't we? It's been a while since I got stuck into a real fight. It was just like fighting by your mother's side. I'd forgotten what it was like, standing next to a hero. I think we're almost there. That must be the place up ahead. What I wouldn't give for a bowl of soup and a hot bath. Hello, I've just learned yet another remarkable tidbit from the Book of Heroes. It seems that you have the power to upgrade not only your living weapons, but also any weapon you find. Come back to the Sanctuary, and I can show you how. Cease your movement! Be you men or be you hollow men! Have you gone daft, boy? Open up the doors! Walter? Is that you? The very same. Now, are you going to let us in or what? Right! Yes, of course! Open the gate! Tell Major Swift Walter's here! Welcome, Sir Walter. Sir! There he is. The one and only, Major Swift. Oh, oh, Walter! What the blazes are you doing here? We came looking for you. I have a proposition. You came all this way to proposition us. And I thought you were here to save us from the legions of the damned. Ben Finn, it's good to see you. I take it the legends about this place are true, then? I'll say. You've never seen so many hollow men in one place. We've been stationed here for weeks, trying to eradicate them. Mainly, it's us getting eradicated. We lost some good men last night, including Lieutenant Simmons here. And the buggers will be back tonight. Logan just loves to send you on the best assignments, doesn't he? That's part of what I wanted to talk to you about. Is this... Uh... The princess. Yes. I'll explain. But just treat her like any other pair of hands for now. Fair enough. Captain Finn will show you to the mortar. We could use a, a body up there. Meet me on the wall when you're ready. I'll introduce you to Private Jammy. So cool because he's the luckiest sod in the fault. You'll probably be stuck by that mortar all night. Well, take a look around first. Talk to the men. It never hurts to know who's got your back. Oh, my feet are killing me. Oh. We should have just what you need. Let's discuss the price. The the... Woo! <laughs> hey! Yay! 
I'll move on the price. We had a couple of rough patches, but at the moment we're doing okay. We have some new things in stock you might like. Are you happy to discuss the price? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Okay then, you win. I'd love a pair of gloves like that, yeah. Very stylish. What are you looking for? If I haven't got the potion... Oh, you've bought a fine item. Oh, I'm not sure about that top you're wearing. No. You should change it as soon as you can. Finally left the old cast behind, huh? Look, he's doing it again. I don't suppose you've ever used a mortar before? There's nothing to it. There's always a slight chance of maiming, of course, but um, I'm sure you'll pick it up. First, I'd like you to meet Private Jammy. He'll be your loader. Pleasure to meet you. There's two to say about me, you know. Jammy is soldier in Albion. 724 wounds and still standing. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get used to him. After a while, he's hardly revolting at all. Right, Jammy. It's time to show her the ropes. Yes, sir. Right, then. My life's gonna be in your hands, so let's make sure you, you know what you're doing, OK? Go on, grab the mortar and we'll do some practice shots. Right, let's see what you've got. See that scarecrow over there? Blow it up. Yeah, that's right. Yes! Yes! Push! <laughs> oh, goodbye, Mr. Scarecrow. That was bloody brilliant. All right, Jammy, don't get too excited. You know what happens when you do. Let's just take care of the last one. Just one left. Hang on. I don't remember setting this one up. doesn't get in your eyes. Oh, you got him. You got him. Oh, I love it. That's another couple gone. Look at him go. Way. There's some more. Coming from the right. From the right! Oh, good! Here they come! Look left! There's more coming! Couldn't have done it better myself! He's coming! That's it! Hack up to bits! They're coming from the right! Isn't that satisfying? Oh, good! Here they come! Look left! Push! Push! I can't 
hold it, they're too strong! Oh, no! Watch that door! Decomposition. Here, let me spell it out for you. How deep you want to be buried? Keep it up, lads. They're coming through the well window! Done. Smashed undead skulls. Victory! Song. All hail the princess! Now, who's for a pint? Lieutenant Simmons! I specifically instructed you to remain buried! Oh, that's not anyone for orders anymore!
that was pretty damn impressive. So, your mother wasn't the last hero of Albion after all. We did it! Oh, really? We did! Let the poets tell our epic tale. The Swift Brigade fought against impossible odds. They won the end. Well, Sir Walter, you didn't do too bad for an old man. Neither did you for a buffoon. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was just like old times, Walter. Just like old times. So, what do you say? Will you join us? With your help, we can put a stop to Logan's madness. Bring back the real Albion army. I swore to serve my king to the death. We all did. But this isn't the way it was meant to be. The old guard has been shoved aside, and these new soldiers Logan's been gathering, they don't care about this land or its people. Yeah, and I bet they get paid more. Walter has absolute faith in you. And after seeing you in action, so do I. All I ask is that you make a soldier's oath. Let your armies protect the people instead of oppressing them. Bring honor back to this uniform. Yeah, and don't forget the pay rise. Shut up, Ben. I promise. This has been a momentous day. With the support of Major Swift and his soldiers, the revolution grows in strength, and you move one step closer to becoming the leader this kingdom needs. Then it's settled. We're heading back to Bowerstone now. There are some people there I'm hoping will join us. We'll send for you when we're ready. Then I shall bid you good luck and farewell and all that. And just try not to get the rest of these lads killed, will you? We're gonna need you all. You always know what to say to keep morale up, Wally. Now get out of here. Farewell, my friends. Come on, you did good today. But we're just getting warmed up. I've added your promise to... If you feel like exploring, go ahead. I'll meet you at the sewers to Bowerstone. You can't miss them. Nice weapon you've got there. What are you? Compensating for something? It's a great day to be alive. And a better day to kill.
It was just awful what happened to that Hi monorail. There. How can All I those help? people. Hello there, stranger. All right, thank you. Hope you enjoy it. What can I do for you then? Thanks very much. Thank you for your custom. What are you looking for? Enjoy. Oh, you fought. I hope it brings you great happiness. I usually restock oh, every few weeks. Enjoy. That's a pleasing thing to behold. Let's see what we can do for you. Oh, you've bought a fine item. Enjoy. I guess. Albion work is thirsty work. Try our drinks. Oh, you've Something bought a say. fine item. Enjoy. She is such a nice person. You don't see many women as tall as her. She just has this incredible aura of goodness. She seems okay. Did you see those gloves? Nice, aren't they? That's what happens when you dress with the light off. You end up with a top like that. If only all adventurers were... I'd like to come round to your house for tea. And then I'll have your mum. Look, it's the lady hero. You're not going to drone on about equal pay for equal work, are you? Oh, look at the doggy. Looks delicious. We've descended into the chasms of the netherworld, stared death in the face, and waded through things so foul I'd rather not think about them. But this is where it gets really ugly. And buried somewhere beneath it all are the people Logan has left behind. I'll turn things around, but I just need a little help. You won't see too many kids running around here. Most of them have no choice but to work. It's either that, or begging. You remind me of an old friend! He was a twit, just like you! I wonder what's going on up there. Let's see, shall we? What in the world is that little... They say Reaver has been around forever. Reaver is exploiting us! We deserve fair pay! We demand better working conditions! We're workers, we're not slaves. Reaver treats us like animals, and we're not gonna take it anymore. There's only one thing for it. We have to stand up to Reaver. But lying down is so much easier than standing up. My dear friends, in order to raise morale, I am offering prizes to the most deserving workers. 
the rules that will govern what I like to call the Reva Team Spirit Award are these. Firstly, any worker that so much as murmurs another complaint will be shot. Secondly, any worker who takes more than a three-second break will be shot. Thirdly, any worker who breaks any other rules I have yet to formulate will, yes, you guessed it, be shot. You may return to work now. As you know, I'm a generous man and likely to start handing out prizes right away. So go on, shoo, be off with you. Chop, chop. That's why we're here. That's why Albion needs you. Your brother must have been out of his mind when he handed control of Industrial to Reva. You should go on. It's time you met the Bowerstone Resistance. See they can fix the monorail. Believe that when I see it. You should be a model or something. You're one of those who like to stick to their morals, aren't you? Top up. Hey, 